going to prove to you that Islam is occultic. Got a very interesting Wikipedia article here about occultism in Islam. It says, Ulum al Ghabira, occult sciences, or Ulum al Hafia, secret sciences, refers to occultism in Islam. In Islamic culture, occultism deals with matters located between metaphysics and science. Since Islam has no council or hierarchy to fix the creed, or, or rather gains consents over discussions contrary to Western esotericism and occultism, there's no clear conflict between orthodox and occultism in Islam. Muslim writers on occultism and magic usually distinguish between illicit and, or illicit and illicit practices, rather than condemning magic and occultism as a whole. However, during the end of the Ottoman Empire, Muslims started to disregard occultic practices as superstitional. So occultism wasn't Islam, it was a fact it was a fact of Islam before the Ottoman Empire. Then here are some Islamic schools of occultism. Uh and, and forgive me, I, I hope I'm, I'm probably gonna, not going to pronounce this stuff right, but bear with me. Uh, Ilm al Farisa, pr predicting a character of a person by his outer appearance. Ilm Tibair ar Raya, interpreting dreams. Ilm Akam uh, an Najam, Najam, whatever, uh, astrology. Ilm as Shir, magic. Ilm uh, at Tilasmat, uh, talisman. Uh, it goes on there. It goes on alchemy, but you get the you get the point. Occultism in Islam is actually a thing. Just proof that Islam is is uh, satanic and occultic. So uh, Islam is a false religion. The God of Islam is a false god. Allah is a, he's a pagan moon god. That's what it comes down to. So Muslims they need to get saved. If you're a Christian, you got to be preaching the gospel to Muslims, because Islam is an occultic false religion, and just this proves it. And they have all their sources at the bottom. Because people say, oh, Wikipedia is not reliable. Uh, it's very reliable because they give all their sources at the bottom of the article. So uh, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.